I've decided to use frame 226 because that's when uh, Kennedy and Connolly are clearly out from behind the Stemmons Freeway sign. And we can see how they're positioned. In the lower right-hand corner, that's Meyer's frame, scaled down to uh, match the best I could do to the Zapruder frame I'm using. You can see Jackie up here on the uh, Zapruder frame. Myers doesn't use Jackie, so you can always tell to what extent you're looking at the Zapruder frame by how much you can see Jackie. You won't see her at all on Myers frame. I'm fading Myers frame out now on the lower right hand corner so I can make a good uh, fit when I slide it up and try to superimpose it on the Zapruder frame. I'm mostly just looking at Kennedy right now. I'm going to try to match that up exactly and when I do that you can see Connolly matches up. Kennedy's arm is even at the same angle. You can still see Jackie, so we're looking mostly at the uh, Zapruder frame, but I'm going to increase the opacity of the Myers version of that frame, and uh, Jackie fades out, and you can see what a nice fit it is. Even Conley's looking in the same direction. His body is positioned quite similarly. Now I'm going to fade it back out, and you can see Jackie coming back in. Now, Myers calls this wireframing. That's not what I'm doing here. I'm not claiming I'm wireframing. That's uh, absolutely more sophisticated. This is just my crude attempt to show that they are very, very, very close in the same positions. And I don't think anyone can make the argument that they don't match. They match quite well. You can see the ghost image of Myers frame floating around there, and it fits over very nicely on top of the Zapruder frame. Now I'm increasing the opacity to show Meyer's version of it. And I think it works. It works quite well.